In all you're getting, get wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Through wisdom is a house built. And by understanding, it is established. Join, Join Apostle, Apostle Joshua, Joshua Selman of Eternity Network, Network International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy. It's partnership. It's fellowship. This is Koinonia. that has taken us from January till December we acknowledge you oh God you are the mighty God we give you all the praise we give you all the praise we give you all the praise hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord I'd like you to walk around just celebrate someone and come back to your seat walk around greet someone hug someone tell them it's good to see you at the last service for the year <laughs> hallelujah Praise the Lord. I'd like us to celebrate Jesus for the last service. The very, very last service. All the kids. The last service for the year. Hallelujah. God bless you. I welcome everyone. Uh, I'll not be preaching tonight. Really, I think the worship team and the media have done everything. We give them kudos for everything I just want to encourage us tonight I was contemplating on what I would share just to encourage us you would call it a valedictory sermon for the year and the Lord laid just one word in my heart and I think it's important that um, we close on this note for the year we have seen the hand of god he told us that this would be for us as a family the year of the rain and we have seen his faithfulness you cannot imagine the things that god has done around the nation we give him all the praise just one scripture matthew 11 Matthew 11 Blessed be the name of the Lord twenty eight Matthew eleven the twenty eighth verse Come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden let's read on together and i will give you rest it says take my yoke upon you and lean of me 
for I am meek and lonely in heart and ye shall find rest for your souls he said for my yoke is easy and my burden is light I want to admonish us tonight very briefly on the subject of peace um, it's one attribute that is grossly lacking in the world today when you put on your television all you hear is very bad negative news this person bombing this nation this person doing this when you come to our own nation all kinds of stories and um, if we do not learn how a believer is supposed to live especially in our world today we will depress ourselves we will destroy ourselves are we together now our hospitals are full of people who have inflicted themselves with needless diseases the rate high blood pressure used to be a disease for old people but right now you find teenagers in the hospital with high blood pressure stroke and all kinds of things the turbulence of living in today's world is catching up with so many people depression swallowing people up there are so many people who beginning from the first of this month probably will not rest until the first of january they are hoping to get the money to buy the cow for christmas the rice some of you are depressing yourself over your transport <coughs> excuse me your transport fare back home and all kinds of things listen let me tell you something peace is one of the cardinal representations of the presence of the kingdom the bible says the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink are we together but in what righteousness peace this peace is not just a state of quietness it's a state of rest that's what jesus said he will give he said come on to me and i will give you rest it's from the word shalom it's not just a a state of non-disturbance is is a state of rest the psalmist put it in a very beautiful way he says um he restores my soul he says he leads me beside the still waters the more of a leader you become the more you will see the need for peace in your life and the need to be an advocate of that peace lord make us instruments of your peace where there is let your love increase lord make us instruments of your peace walls of pride and prejudice shall see when we are your The first revelation I want to give you about peace and a state of rest is that it is a choice. Peace has nothing to do with what is happening around you. Listen, listen. Peace has nothing to do with the external environment. There are so many people who tell you, I don't have peace because I don't have money. How can I have peace? I don't have peace because I'm not married. I don't have peace because there's no admission. I don't have peace because I have a carryover or no job or no child. Um, Satan understands that men are carnally minded. Are we together? He knows that the impulses of the carnal man is based on the things around him. And so he takes advantage of the happenings in our lives. All right? And then brings us to a point where we cannot enjoy this shalom, this restfulness. There are so many people worried. You see young people just sit like this. 
and you ask them what they say life and you're wondering what is making that person so depressed what is life the only set of people we believe should have peace are those who die that's why we tell them rest in not in joy not in love because we have informed ourselves that peace is only for dead people once you are alive in this world we have programmed ourselves to believe that it is strange for a man to be a peaceful person peace is not quietness peace is not lack of noise no peace is a state of rest a settled state of rest that is based on the revelation of who god is and the integrity of his person hallelujah believe me you have mastered the art of living if you sustain a technology in the spirit to generate peace regardless of situations and circumstances at that point you are guaranteed to live long everyone say peace one of the greatest blessings that jesus brings to us is peace not just salvation but peace you can have all the money in the world and with it will come multiply troubles there are people who were more peaceful poor than they are now millionaires but cannot sleep are we together now have you not read what solomon said he said here the conclusion of the matter he said of reading many books there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul he said but this is the conclusion of the matter fear god and keep his commandments then he says this is the whole duty of man it's too much in this life to disturb your peace every 24 hour in your life is full of enough trouble to jeopardize your life you don't have to be a bad person the world we live in from the person who greets you in the morning to the one you quarrel with before sleeping there are so many people who cannot sleep you ask them why they say kai but I'm, I'm a lenient person abi they are treating me too much in this life this is what they are thinking about there are ideologies that have robbed us of the peace of god the bible says that peace surpasses all understanding it's not scientific you don't calculate it it's part of the true representations of a spiritual man a spiritual man has sustained a system in the spirit to be peaceful a state of rest Kai, the way people worry the way people depress themselves is a dangerous thing god gave me this word that in this season it's important for us to come once again into this covenant of peace nothing missing nothing broken nothing that is an emergency enough to rob you of that joy and that restfulness that comes in knowing who christ is hallelujah our world is full of worry everybody say worry jesus dedicated a whole chapter matthew chapter 6 talking about worry the bible says do not worry listen do you know why people lose their peace what to eat what to wear are we together and all the mundane cares of life from marriage to children to money to lack of it to too much of it to human beings there's too much to rob us of our peace husbands have lost relationships with their wives because of the cares of this world lack of peace many homes today have become habitations of worry and stress the tension that you see in the life of people is too much but there is a system there is a technology in the spirit that can keep a man restful may that be your experience listen i'm telling you if you are not a man and a woman of peace you are not walking in the experience of the kingdom it has nothing to do 
with whether you have money in your pocket or not. Many of us have tied our peace to Naira and Kobo. So when you check and you find 100,000 when Pastor Femi gave the testimony of the millions coming, I saw the relief. It's not your money, but just the, the fact that money is available gave a lot of us that sigh of relief. And I felt very disappointed. If you allow money to define your peace or otherwise, you make yourself a slave to Satan. How many people smile only at the end of the month? Have you seen the way people are happy when they are slotting their ATM? Even if there's nothing, just the consciousness that I'm around money. It's a very demonic thing. Listen, listen. This is the last teaching for the year. It's a very demonic way to live. You cannot tie your peace to anything in time because it will kill you fast. Your peace must be tied to a person, not things. Your peace must be tied to a person. His name is Jesus. Oh, I like Job. Come on. The Bible tells us that Job, when everything, whether he had it or not, of course he was human, but the Bible lets us know that Job, the, the Bible says he sinned not with his mouth. When you check your CGP and you see that everything works out fine, then you have peace. Look, look at how worry is killing so many people. It's one of Satan's greatest arsenal in our day. Worry, anxiety, depression. Hear what Jesus said. John 14. John 14. Are you getting blessed tonight? John 14. Verse 27. John 14, 27. Can we read it? One, two, read. Not a bank account. Listen. Peace. I live with you. So that you are not confused. Not peace that comes from money. He said, my peace. There is a type that God gives. There is a type that the world gives. The peace you get when you receive salary. The peace you get when your insecurities are gone. People consult witches and wizards today because of lack of confidence in God. Insecurity has depressed men. Insecurity causes lack of peace. He said, my peace I give to you. It says, not as the world give it. That means there is a kind of peace you get in this world. Peace that is tied to things. Are we together now? And so there's depression. Everywhere. You come and you find out that there's no light. Oh, never. Eh? And you are angry. And the devil says, that's right. I have found out that circumstances can control the peace gauge of this person. And somebody just annoys you. You receive a very, very nasty text from somebody. And while you are meditating upon it, you hear that, ah, mama is sick at home. And you sit down and say, Kai, what is this life about? And Satan says, this is it. This is exactly the state I want. Because every time, righteousness, peace, and joy cohabit, the kingdom must find expression there. And so Satan knows that every time I can take one of these factors away, it's impossible for that person to experience the kingdom. Do you not know that with all your depression, five minutes without your breath, and there's nothing to talk about again. Truly, human beings are really foolish. The word of God gives us wisdom. You find out the way we depress ourselves over several things. I once met a gentleman and I saw him so worried. I said, why? He said, at my age, my father had a car. Hi! And so, <laughs> and so I told him, I said, so what does that mean? He said, can you imagine? Ah! I can't make myself a slave like that. Even if I'm going to think, let me think of something noble constructed metals stopping you from sleeping in the night is that not idolatry are we together now 
think of the things that depress us brothers and sisters and you find out that at the root of them do you know that most of the things that are free in life they are the most important things the things that God knows that money cannot buy he gave you freely the air you breathe the blessings of relationships the gift of salvation most of the things we depress ourselves about the truth is we can live without them we have chosen based on an ideology to pressure ourselves look at the lovely sister that came to share about her phone getting bad how many people will not sleep today if i'm robbers take well not i'm, I'm robbers don't steal phone i'm that a thief anybody just carries your phone this gets missing and you see them moving around where is my phone they wake up by two they wake up by three they go to zaria city i must find out who did this peace jesus said my peace i live with you koinonia not as the world gives you frustrate satan when you have found a system that does not disrupt your peace you have found a system that maintains your rest hallelujah when satan sees that nothing in time can affect this state of restfulness we hate because we do not have the peace of god we depress ourselves we are sick sick and sick and sick people going to the hospital the doctors cannot find anything because they are depressing themselves you you are so depressed you fall down and not even know you're falling down somebody says stand up and you say you mean i fell down what were you thinking about at what age i refuse to allow anything in time it's a choice I reject it I refuse to allow anything in time corrupt that restful state it's a state I've found that is only possible in Christ a state of rest you will never know this peace if you are outside of Christ there is a revelation that brings you to this peace let me tell you what that revelation is if God does not open a door it cannot be opened ah. and if God opens that door it cannot be closed I have learned by experience that worry does not solve anything it only complicates your life and your problems how many ladies you see them 25 depressed why husband what is that you are so passionate and depressed over a husband the day he comes you are even annoyed that he has come do you know there is a way you can worry over it does not bless you even when it comes the worry is too much even the miracle you no longer celebrate it jesus said my peace i live with you give it to us again media my peace john 14 27 my peace there is a kind that he gives It says not as the world gives let not your heart be what what is the opposite of peace a troubled heart he said let not your heart in other words permit it not choose to refuse your heart from being troubled he said neither let it be afraid these are the things that choke the peace of god fear fear the fear of the future how many young people are afraid of the future what will my life become you are afraid of getting admission you are now afraid of graduating you are afraid of getting a job you are afraid of not getting one ah. he leads me and guides me to the city of Papa. he leads me and guides me to my place of destiny me and guides me to the city of Papa. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. 
anxiety is something that is is okay with the natural man is part of our build up as natural men the bible says be anxious for nothing anxiety right anxiety anxiety has depressed people it is that lack of peace anxiousness anxious about everything oh i want to know what tomorrow holds i want to know what this holds and we we go into all kinds of ungodly strategies because we are afraid how many parents have gone to make sacrifices for their children tell me what the future of my child will be will he be great will he not be great tell me this and they say okay go and bring a cow go and bring a ram i want to know i'm afraid let me know if tell me if i will live up to 10 years Abba. there is a state of restfulness that when you wake up in the morning you give him all the praise and you say thank you lord for peace you hear a news that is depressing and you say lord in all things i cannot explain what has happened but lord i thank you i i may not know the details but one thing i know is that you are faithful you are faithful for the things you've done for me tiri -do 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 -tiri -do. for the life you've given me you draw me close to you there's too much anxiety in our world we are afraid we are insecure right we are troubled over nothing watch students when result is about to come out something that will be pasted and you will know anxiety makes people to be roaming around they see a lecture and they are good afternoon sir did i pass just be patient something that in the next 10 minutes will be pasted there and will be left there anxiety do you know anxiety can preempt you and open up seasons that was not supposed to be open anxiety can make you do things you can go ahead of your destiny to your detriment of God that surpasses all understanding and people look at you if you are a man of peace you must be strange because people look at you and say ah is it not you they said your father died and you say well I cried but to him be all the glory say no 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 let's go and find out we must trace the root of this and you say God is faithful ah. you are rejoicing and they tell you one million naira has entered your account you say I rejoice but it doesn't make any difference I am still restful and God says so the one million you say well I'm happy it doesn't change anything and the devil says where in the world do I get this person how come you have a constant state of rest regardless of what happens you are in a relationship with a guy you are happy planning your wedding and he looks and says I'm not doing it and while you cry he said Lord you are faithful I may not have him but I have you give me you everything else can wait give me you i hope i'm not too late lord give me you lord give me you lord give me you lord give me you listen many of us do not know the value and the, the treasure of having Jesus Christ. I know we, we profess it, we claim we know, but the truth is, it's not in our lives. The, our, our unrestfulness shows Jesus there is something that is higher than him in our life.
listen if i give you one million sam right let me use money so that we understand if i give you one million sam and you see five naira falling on the ground will you leave the one million to pick it if you leave the one million to pick it what does that mean it's impossible for you to say i value this that's what that's what is responsible for the turbulence in our lives you have the greatest gift and you throw him away and you are looking at other things that are mundane because in your mind although we claim through our songs that he is everything but the truth of the matter is that our passion and obsession about things of a lesser value show that they are out they are truly the gods in our life when a man has jesus christ listen please hear me i know we live in a society that thinks what i'm saying is old school when a man has the christ and the revelation of the operation of the kingdom you have the greatest gift in your life brothers and sisters whether in plenty or in little you are a man of peace how many gentlemen are about to be bad fathers because their joy and their peace is tied to things around the moment the man is promoted everybody receives the joy the moment he fights with somebody in the office everybody is going to receive a share of that anger that's a bad life i don't have enemies in my life believe me I cannot hate a man I know this sounds arrogant it's not the natural Joshua Selman have I'm human but I cannot that quality is no longer in me the light of God has consumed me I found a key love never fails when was the last time they taught you this when they were teaching you on an antidote against failure did they ever teach you that love never what does never mean there is no possibility hmm love so i live a very restful life if i go back and i find my place burned to ashes i will look at it and say wow the only pain is i'll say i did not carry my books where i write the visions in my life but in five minutes i'm rejoicing satan has lost the art of wearing me i i humiliate him with my peace Are we together i can sit down with a cup of gary and rejoice the same way i will sit down with turkey i can sit down in a five-star hotel and rejoice the same way i will sit down in a mat if that is not your case you are already in deception the devil is about to hack your life into pieces i will never no 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 whether i'm what i'm wearing a watch of hundred thousand or wearing a rubber watch of 50 naira it does not make any difference as far as peace is concerned are we together whether you are wearing a shirt of 1 million or you are wearing a shirt of 10 naira it doesn't make any difference never allow the things around you to define your state of rest you are not a christian you are not a true christian i'm telling you this when that happens i have found life i have found peace i'm not teaching you to be irresponsible but i am telling you you master living when you learn to be peaceful that nothing in time can disrupt that restfulness whether in tears or in joy whether in plenty or in little you have learned to maintain a spiritual equilibrium there is a there is a a spiritual buffer nothing will take you out of that state you are a true spiritual man some of us are probably seated right now depressed i want to travel tomorrow god knows i need two thousand what i have is 500 because of one five you will not sleep and you're not sleeping will not bring it you see the trouble worry was never designed to bring solutions it was designed to depress you if i don't trust myself why can't i trust you? if you don't trust yourself trust god
my peace. I move up. Brothers and sisters, I am amazed. Every 24 hours, I watch people and I am shocked at their, at their ideology. Why do people think this way? Why can't they be peaceful? Why won't you choose to be peaceful? Listen, some of you look at, you're not even so old, but look, look at the way your life is depressed. Worry and anger and hatred, always cynical, always on the negative side. Talking about everything that is not working in your life and the life of people. Why don't you change what you see? Why don't you change what you see? I don't see negative things. All I see is the faithfulness of God in my life. All I see is the mercy of God. It is the goodness of God in my life. God has been good to me. If he never blesses me in this life, he does not owe me anything. I owe him my life and eternity. That's how to live. That's how to live. You kept 10,000 naira, I got missing. You are crying. You are yelling. You are quoting scripture. The prayers you would not have prayed to bring you into intimacy. You pray for two hours and you start checking. Oh God, your word said, even God who called the dead and called the things that be not as though they were. Lord, me, I'm saying this thing is my own. It must come. I'm telling you, it's not the prayer of faith. It's the prayer of selfishness and idolatry. The greatest gift I have in my life, listen, is not the anointing. The greatest gift I have in my life is not money. The greatest gift I have in my life is not people. The greatest gift I have in my life is the presence of Jesus. Ah, in life and in death. The worst that can happen to me is that I will die. You will cry for seven days and say, ah, he taught us about long life. It doesn't matter. I'm God. <laughs> And at the end of it, there is peace. Many of us are already on our way to produce bad families because of depression. What is wrong? No money, how can I be happy? Are you not seeing what is happening in Nigeria? Buhari's government is this and that and that. How is it providing for your needs? Have you not read, my God shall supply? Leave that one, Jare. We are talking about real issues now. You are not a Christian. A true believer, listen, a true believer is one who has staked his life on God's word. I believe the word of God to death, to death, to death. I believe the word of God. My life revolves around it. I will never allow anything in this life to depress me. It does not have that ability. If I'm told today that any of my loved one is dead, God forbid, I will cry. But in it, I will get up. And the only song that will come out of my lips is the song of his faithfulness. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful. We are saying faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Faithful are you, Lord. Listen, create a limit for the effect of the things in this life as far as your relationship with God is concerned. The presence of Jesus is more than gold. It's more than a billion dollars the presence of jesus is more than koinonia is more i will give up koinonia one thousand times for the presence of jesus i will give up anything and i mean it in this life no i will give give aside every accomplishment and everything for the presence of jesus that's the gift i have I, you hear people say, ah, my reputation is at stake. I don't even have one. Ah, I don't have one. I'm telling you, my reputation is his reputation. I'm too young to kill myself with that kind of ideology. I have no reputation of my own. The 
help me thank you i want you to get a revelation tonight inside and outside as we wrap up this year make a choice that for the rest of my god-given life i choose peace i choice no matter what happens in my life i made that choice i choose to be happy people see you and say you are always laughing then they come to your house and find out that the only thing there is water there's no gary and they say so why are you laughing what's the laughter for the laughter is because you have come into oneness with one who is greater than anything that can come. see let me tell you please please lose the the affection you have for things you hear me say this all the time you must get to a point in your life koinonia where nothing in time has the ability to steal away the presence of jesus when John, or no, not John now, when Peter was about to die, they were about to kill the body, right? They put him on a cross and he said, no, they cannot crucify me the same way they crucified my Savior. Look at a man. He said, turn me upside down. I am not worthy to be crucified that way. What did these people know that in the midst of their depression, Paul will write a letter encouraging people and Paul will say, I'm in chains. In chains. A man in chains telling people, count it all joy, my brethren. When you go through diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work in patience. In chains. You are not in chains. Yet, we are depressed. Please, I want you to, I want you to weary Satan with your passion for Jesus Christ. Weary Satan with your passion for the things of God. Oh, I wanted to give you 10,000. I no longer will give you. Say to God be the glory. And he said, what kind of person are you? Is it that you don't get angry? You have sustained a system. For as long as God is alive, I remain peaceful. My depression will start the day someone can dethrone him. And then at that point, I know that my life is no longer secure. Listen, the oldest man on earth today is not up to 120 years. So what is the vanity? Are we together? The vanity in this life that makes us to get up. You are pursuing car. You are pursuing jeep. You are pursuing this. You are pursuing that. Oh, they said in the village, I'm not successful. Let me prove to them. Who cares? Are they successful? They in the village, are they successful? They said they don't marry fast in our family. That's their cup of tea, frankly speaking. See, learn, learn to, learn to ignore Satan. It's one way to conquer him. Ignore his proposals and you will step into a state of rest. Someone looks and says, have you gotten the admission? Say, why now? Ah, say, God is faithful. I know that he makes all things beautiful in his time. They say, oh, forget that, you know. You are disappointing us. And you, you leave them away. And when you go, the devil will say, think on these things. And you say, no. The Bible says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are noble, if there be a good report, if there be any praise, he said, think on these things. This unemployment, why are we like this? And then you turn to your friend and say, Why are we suffering like this? The friends say, Attire, oh, Naso Nigeria, they know you are, you are thinking like a non Christian. The peace of God. See, let me tell you what will happen if you are living in peace. Men must hate you. Because, you see, there is a popular saying that misery likes company. When people are frustrated, they try to look for those who are like them so that they can form a team. We, the committee of humiliated people. And the moment you refuse it, they interpret it as pride. What are you saying? Are you not older than us? At least me, I'm 28. You, you are 32. You are not depressed. You are not joining us in this. I'm not joining. I'm not a party to all of this. 
Five years after graduating, no job. You won't come. Let's discuss this thing. Say, no, I'm not a party to it. Are you willing to be that different? To ignore the mockery and maintain the peace of the kingdom? There's too much depression in our world. And I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. The person who is depressed, humanly speaking, does not even have any guarantee whether he will wake up the next day. Yet he's thinking people have accident on that de me. Thank you. Depression makes them to begin to hallucinate. They think the road is this way, whereas it's this way. They go and bash into a tree and die. See, I, I thought I saw the bend this way. Frustration. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. I remember a man whose car had accident. When he came and saw the car burning, he fell down there and died. If that guy gets to heaven and I'm Jesus, this is the first thing I'm going to do. I'll say, what brought you here? And he said, I died. I said, of what? He said, car. I would say, go back. He must go back. For that, you must win at least a thousand souls. <laughs> oh, no, come on. You don't die and enter the gates of heaven. If I'm Jesus, you must go back and win souls. One by one, not general. One by one. You die because your car caught fire. They stole your cloth. From January, you are still remembering it now. See, listen, do you, let me tell you something. Anything you hold on to, you are telling God, this is the limit of my life. Don't ever lift me beyond this limit. Because at this point, this has become my God. I love him. You never hear me pray all those nonsense prayers. Oh God, why me? Why all of these things? Why? Eh? Oh God, won't you? Won't you? No, 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 no. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. I'm a lover of your presence. Jesus. I'm a lover of your presence. Refuse to get hot. Stop this anxiety and this rage. Right? Have you seen friends do this? I, I believe you don't do it. Um, Christians should not do that. But there are friends that do that. Um, they deliberately look for trouble. They keep saying things. And instigating anger and then they laugh there are people who if they laugh at you there is a way they laugh at you do, do you have such kind of people in your life oh my goodness they laugh at you in a way that you you don't you you you, you try to check i see that i'm stupid am i a clown what is the meaning of all this if you live your life like that there are many of those kinds of people around the world you will hate yourself and you will translate that hatred to every other person around you. I love myself. God knows. I love myself. I've, I've said it again and again here. That philosophy of hanging yourself. Even if I were not born again. It would never happen to hang myself. No. I'd rather die in a sleep. But not to hang myself. Who buys the rope? <laughs> Me? Go to the market and buy a rope to hang myself? Say, I choose to be peaceful. Shout it, I choose to be peaceful. I make up my mind to be a person of peace. 
go home with this mindset and see how you will discomfort a lot of people because for some of you they are waiting for you there is a part of the gist that has been it's like a pie they left it for you they are hoping that you come and they say come and tell us your version of the suffering in nigeria and they say well i i have just one thing to say god is faithful and they say please please let's be real we're also christians they say this is my reality i mean it i'm, I'm not playing games and then they get angry right people always get angry when you don't conform i once met a woman who was angry said that she's been barren for a number of years and um, this was woman she said i went to the hospital they said i'm okay they said i'm okay it's my husband that knows what a and b and c and, and you know i don't want to he has this whole medical this in and all of that he's the one blah 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 from his father's side from this and that and i knew that this woman will not carry a child for a long time with this bad attitude there is, the kingdom cannot come because there is no peace it's an equation there must be righteousness there must be peace and there must be joy when this three cohabit it grants access it's like a spiritual code hallelujah and i looked at the woman i said madam the issue is not to throw blames and say it's your husband two have become one that's what the bible says if he gets money now will you say it's his money or will you say it's our money see that and i encouraged and prayed with her peace i give unto you i don't know what you are going through right now but let me tell you i don't want to know one thing i know is that your way out must be the way of peace depression will never bring you solution are we together worry and discussing issues with people who cannot help you will not bring you out jesus said john 14 please 27 my peace i give to you my peace i give unto you the bible says one of the names you will be called is the prince of peace not the prince of worry look at jesus on the cross going through the pains of the nail and then he looks at john and says john behold your mother mother behold your son what kind of peace is that a 33 year old man naked on the cross he would have been angry look at stephen when they were about to stone him he looked into heaven the only guy that did what jesus did was advocating forgiveness for the people that's a state of peace may god make you a man and a woman of peace i'm telling you in plenty it does not change you in not plenty it does not change you right when people annoy you and instead of you boiling around you just find a song of melody in moments like this i sing out a song i sing out a love song to jesus in moments like this i sing out a song i sing out a song to the lord singing i love you lord singing i love you are going to be going home let me tell you what some of you will meet in your house poverty like never before it's not a prophecy some of you that's that's the truth you will go home and they will tell you they've not paid workers for months and then you can choose to join them in the depression or be an instrument of peace and say look i know that things are not going all right now but i tell you a day will come when we will rejoice in this house they say where is that day we are talking of now now some of you the moment your parents see you they'll be angry because they are thinking of school fees and you tell them no god is faithful right 
some of us are going back to our loved ones and we may not have anything much in our hands to go and bless them at home and we are depressed it should never be so you choose peace never allow satan depress you the lord put this in my heart to share with us tonight i'm going to prophesy and bless us for the year but i want everyone here those listening outside let nothing be so serious in this life such as to disrupt your peace there is a childlikeness you must have if you want to live into this world some of us are too matured for god to use us we are too we are too bossy we are too old we are not childlike enough i choose to be a child before his presence i will be a child with my children and my grandchildren i will still remain a child in his presence to tremble at his word nothing is too serious in life to depress me nothing is too serious in life to make me hate people and get depressed all around no joy no peace no i teach you the art of living i teach you the way winners live the key is to hand over everything to god i'm rounding up i know you think you are born again but let me tell you when worry still kills you you are not truly born again there is a part of you that has not been surrendered to him from beginning to the end it will always be always be you jesus oh jesus you gave him your joy you gave him your spiritual life you gave him your prayer life but your financial life you left away from him and that's where the devil is using to kill you because you've not handed it over we are going to do a handover ceremony where you will take every aspect of your life and say god i'm tired if it's based I, I would this marriage issue will kill me this job issue will kill me this barrenness issue i hand it over listen he said come on to me all ye that are what weary and heavy laden what did he say i will give you rest do you have it do you have that rest koinonia do you have that rest today if you have it it will tell in your life if you have it it will tell in your lack of desperation for mundane things oh when will this come oh when will this no 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 I can't wait for tomorrow I can wait I can wait there is no hurry about it I can I can wait for tomorrow to come ah no I can't wait for tomorrow I just can't wait why why the only thing I cannot wait for is anything that has to do with the kingdom every time I get up on Fridays when I'm around I, I almost cannot wait for evening because I want to be able to bless the people any other thing that is not direct so winning no i can't be that desperate about it i can wait can you wait for the car to come answer me some of you can't wait can you wait for the car to come can you wait for the husband to come can you wait for the wife to come can you wait for the promotion to come all the days of my appointed time i will until my change come If you force a door to open that God did not open, it will open, but it will open and kill you. Oh, I choose to wait. I choose to wait. The Bible says he makes all things beautiful, not in your time, in his time. He has the clock, right? And if you will wait for him, he will beautify your life. Some of you cannot wait to get into ministry. That's why you will die like a chicken the first person you prayed for they beat you and say don't come around our house again because god is saying wait he said no my blood is hot calm down calm down i choose to wait i choose to experience that peace there are three prayer points we are going to pray desperately tonight and then i'll prophesy over our lives 
this is the message that I want us to close coin on help with. The first prayer point is a prayer point of handover. Let me explain it and then we'll pray. That you get to a point, come, where you take your life and donate it to God. Lord, I'm tired of this trouble. He said, my yoke is easy. The one you are carrying is not easy. That means it's not of God. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Will you hand it over to God and say, Lord, I'm tired of depressing myself. This is my conviction. I am a complete servant of God. If my reputation goes bad, he's the one to receive it. If God honors me, he's still the one to receive it. Are we together? If I lack food to eat, and I don't have the energy, no soul winning, no salvation. Who pays the price? If there's food to eat, I make God responsible for my life. I play my own part of the deal. And I don't, I never dapple into his part. It's God's part. Lord, I leave it to you. I have done my own part of faithfulness. I know you are, you are too faithful. And then you rest. We are going to hand over. You know, let me tell you how to know the area you've not handed over to God. The one you think about all the time. The one you are obsessed about and you are almost dying about. God is not yet Lord of that area. Are we, are we ready to pray? Rise up on your feet, everyone. Please, I want everybody to pray. Pray seriously. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and cry. Mention the areas in your life that cause you sorrow and depression and say, Lord, I hand it over to you. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. I hand it over to you, oh God. I'm tired of killing myself. I'm tired of dying slowly. It all belongs to you. Oh, 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 it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh, 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 oh. it all belongs to you. Oh, 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 it all belongs. It all belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. Now turn it into a prayer. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Rekete kababa shatalabaka. Father, I lay aside every financial worry. Pray, I lay aside every worry about job i lay aside every worry about children every worry about ministry i choose peace i choose peace i reject worry i choose peace oh you make me lie down in green pastures Lead me beside the still waters. Kabarakato shekete lebo, embroko to poske shekete, shekete le koto sto prekete, embroka baba kapra teska na ba ya na ba na ba. Make sure you're praying. You are the Prince of Peace, and I've received you in my life. I receive your peace. I receive your peace in this wicked world. I receive your peace. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible says, casting all your cares upon him. For what? He cares. That's the second prayer point. Listen, don't think God does not know 
that life is full of troubles are we together he's called the ancient of days don't think he's not aware of your challenges but he still, he still tells you my peace I give to you the second prayer point is you are going to lay aside every trouble bring it before him and say Lord this is what is disturbing me this is that which is troubling me I, I bring it to your throne lift your voice and pray I bring it before your throne oh I bring it before your throne I exchange my burden for your body I exchange my yoke for your yoke your yoke is easy your burden is light Lord that which I've been carrying is killing me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, listen. The last prayer point is a cry from your heart. You are going to cry and say, Lord, I lose affection for anything that is not you. I, I can use them, but they will never win my heart. Lift your voice and pray. I lose affection for money. I lose affection. Pray. Pray. Lord, I give you my heart. I give you my soul. I live for you alone. Every breath that I take, every moment I'm away. I lose affection. Money will never depress me. Pray. I lose affection. That loss for material things, that loss for fame, that loss for power, that loss for accomplishment, I lose it. I break away from 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 it. away from it everything I've held on to the last prayer point let's add one more the spirit of depression worry anxiety it is of the devil open your mouth and curse it open your mouth and curse it I reject you in my life I reject you in my family I reject you in the name of Jesus I reject worry I reject anxiety. I reject depression. In the name of Jesus. Shabakata la barada rabos. Lekete proskete. Enkretos koto lekete. Rekete kete le boko to bege de bela de boko. Rekete ke le boto supradish. Lekete kete te te boko protegate. Reject it. Reject it from your destiny. My God is faithful. My God is faithful. I refuse depression. Nigeria, 
will not make me depressed the government will not make me depressed the economy will not make me depressed the happenings around my life cannot make me depressed I reject depression God is faithful my God is alive Savior he can move the mountain my God is mighty to save he is mighty to save forever author of salvation he rose and conquered the grave Jesus sing Savior he can move on gentlemen say after me in the name of Jesus I will be a man of peace my home will be of peace I reject depression I reject worry I reject frustration I embrace the peace of God peace above money peace above fame Peace above prestige. Peace above accomplishments. This must be your understanding. You must embrace the peace of God above and beyond every other thing. I want to prophesy to you in closing. Hosea chapter 12 verse 13. Help us media. Hosea 12 13. This will be the last service for the year many of us from tomorrow will be traveling you cannot ignore the place of prophecy it says and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved listen when Israel cried in Egypt God did not go to them to rescue them. God went to a man and said, are you hearing my people cry? Are we together? God would have gone to Egypt and said, okay, I have come. But God went to a man and left the salvation of the people in the hand of a man. It says by a man, by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Right? He says, and by a prophet was he, Israel, preserved. Listen. One of the greatest revelations I've had this year is understanding the operation of the body of Christ. The Bible says that the church, give us Ephesians chapter 2, please. Let's just look at that one scripture. I'm about to prophesy to you and I need you to have this understanding. Ephesians. Hmm. Let's look at 19 and 20. 19 and 20 quickly, please. Ephesians 2, 19. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints. And he said, all of you are members of the household of God. Right? 21. Okay, 20. He says, and are built upon what? 
the foundation of the apostles and prophets Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone listen you must understand how God built the body he said the moment you get born again there are two ministries you must encounter if your destiny must arise it says you must encounter these foundational ministries the ministries of the apostles and the prophets it's not about human worship is how God built the kingdom he said it is built upon this truth foundation there means upon this truth this revelation is called the foundation of the Lord he said nevertheless the foundation of the Lord does what stands sure you can't change it he stands sure so by a prophet every time people cry God never comes to them he comes to them through a man go and read your Bible when there was famine God came to a man there are human beings that God have sent that hold the prayer points of people that carry anointings that can open the destinies of people but the Bible tells us that you have a role to play let's look at that one scripture second chronicles 2020 20, right your job is to believe second chronicles 2020 20. he said believe in the lord your god so you shall be established but it's not enough to just believe in god he said believe in his prophets he didn't say the prophets believe in his prophets so shall he make progress so shall he do well so shall he prosper see this is the formula don't try to create another one you will punish yourself for nothing the church was built on the foundations every time god hears the cry of a people he goes to a man and he says you heard their cry i thought god will come to egypt by himself but he went to moses When creation was crying in sin, Jesus had to become a man because they searched and no man was righteous enough. So Jesus became a man. Even God did not come directly. He had to become flesh. Are you not seeing how it works? When the revelation of the, of the New Testament was to come to the body, a man had to be found in the name of Apostle Paul and he brought that fellowship of the mystery to the body of Christ. When Satan wants to destroy you, he will make you believe in God and disrespect his prophets. Are you seeing that? He won't tell you to stop believing in God. He will say, believe in God. After all, everybody has equal access to God. And you will fool yourself and see that you are praying and fasting, but nothing is happening. When the widow in Zarephath was in trouble, God went to a man immediately. And said I have commanded you go are you not seeing it when Samaria was in trouble I thought God would have gone to them he never went to the lepers he brought in a man and he said by this time the moment the man spoke God looked for lepers in other words the tool God will use is not necessary let the prophecy just come he can use anything an axe head can float back when a stick comes but it must be at the instruction of the prophet he said alas master for it was borrowed and he said where fell it if that man threw a stick nothing would happen but he did it at the word prophecy is powerful i learned this from god's servant bishop david Oyedeko. he has changed the lives of people with prophecy but it only works to them that believe you don't receive a prophetic word from a colleague you don't receive a prophetic word from a friend I've taught it here there are individuals that are not pure human beings lift your hands God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me God's ability God's ability Sing 
one more time. Responsibility. Hallelujah. I've shared with you again and again my visions. How that I saw an endless sea of people and they were crying. No food, no water. And I said, who is the cause? And they pointed at me. Ah, and I was afraid because some people had chased me to come into that small room where I was hiding. And I made up my mind. I said I was still going to go out and rescue them. If I perish, I perish. The moment I opened the door, I saw a giant and he held my hands and he said, I will walk with you. Brothers and sisters, this is not, it's not about human beings or human boasting. It's about God's spiritual system. Arguing it is foolishness. There are many prisoners today paying the The foundation of the Lord and the Bible says that foundation is the ministry of the apostolic and the prophetic I want to speak over your life listen the year is not too late for God to finish what he said he would do are we together oh no come on we have at least 20 more days it doesn't take time is it not a prophet of God that said by this time tomorrow it doesn't take time is, is only unto men according to their faith don't say it's the end of the year god does not work with human calendar he works with his word the moment the word of god comes he said he said let there be and there was in the name that is above all names i prophesy over your life every package that is meant to come into your destiny in this year of the rain that is yet to be delivered i prophesy it into your life right now in the name of jesus i prophesy it into your life right now in the name of jesus i prophesy it into your life right now in the name of jesus every request you have dropped here from January, February, March, April, May, and now it's December, and it looks like God has failed you. Let me prophesy to you that by 31st of December, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you will be holding your testimony. I prophesy to you that by 31st of December, you will be holding your testimony. may not be possible with men but the bible says with god we are involving god in this talk every level of prosperity you should have entered in this year of the rain and for whatever reason and by any means you have not entered it let this next 20 days days of supernatural supplies Hallelujah. That spirit that destroys men towards the end of the year, that people would have labored. Have you seen obituaries 28 December, 29 December, some even 31st, in the name that is above all names? May a seal of longevity come upon your life. May a seal of longevity come upon your life. I forbid death from coming towards your habitation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the frustration you usually face at home there are some of us December times are times of pain poverty this December 
will be the best you have ever had. I prophesy it this December will be the best you have ever had. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has troubled your heart, everything that has brought tears to your life, you cannot even share with people because of the pains I prophesy to you. Tonight, the Prince of Peace is stepping into that situation. I declare unto you, the Prince of Peace is stepping into that situation. Every challenge in your health, every sickness i don't care what it is that has refused to go this night in the name of jesus we challenge it and we command it to live your life forever we command it to live your life forever a dimension of favor you did not see from january to november i decree that you will have it beginning from this night I prophesy it again beginning from this night not tomorrow this night may that dimension of favor come over your life in the name of Jesus everything you are praying for is restoration there are people who have lost things and you are trusting God you are saying Lord before the end of the year let a miracle come the Bible says they are taking for a prey and none say yet restore in the name that is above all names I prophesy restoration for you I prophesy restoration for you in a way and a manner that you have not heard listen did you hear the testimony of Pastor Femi and his family 18 years even if it's one one thousand they are paying you every month at the end of 18 years you will have something to smile enough with if your salary was hundred thousand calculate it times 18 years plus benefit and allowance that kind of restoration in the name that is above all names may it come upon your life tonight i prophesy to you receive that restoration right now the testimony that you need to take home as an evidence that this was the year of the rain for you the testimony you must hold and tell people look this is a symbol of God's faithfulness I release it upon your hand right now I release it upon your hand right now in the name of Jesus Christ may you be a burning and a shining light in the name of Jesus Christ through your hands many will be healed through your hands many will be saved i place an unction of the almighty upon you that as you go back to your various locations and stations you will come back with a harvest of dramatic testimonies in the name of jesus christ next year for you will be a it will be a balance brought forward of everything everything in the years past that have refused to come it will be a balance brought forward for you in the name of Jesus Christ listen it is still the year of the rain are you hearing me it is still the year of the rain and I prophesy to you whatever the rain represents within these few weeks we have to the end of the year may you experience the full revelation of what the rain represents hallelujah any human upon the face of the earth who is holding the key to your blessing the key to your breakthrough in the name that is above all names from the north to the south the east and the west between now and 31st december by prophecy i call them into your life by prophecy i call them into your life in the name of the lord jesus christ samuel told saul he said as you go back you 
will find out that the donkey that has been missing has been found and then he said you will see three men you will see them holding bread they will give you from the bread whoever is holding what is supposed to be given to you whatever resistance and manipulation from hell is stopping them from releasing it i command that between now and the end of the year it comes into your hands in the name of jesus christ i pray for every family represented here the kind of christmas celebration you have never seen from birth in the name that is above all names may it be experienced this december whatever ties away financial supplies from your families during this festive period so that they celebrate christmas like frustrated people i decree and i prophesy in the name of jesus may it be a different one this time around for those of you who are going to be traveling far and wide we declare that the mystery of the blood goes with you all through in the name of jesus christ in one minute i like you to ask everything remaining that you want god to do please in one minute go ahead i'm releasing my faith with you in one minute every other thing you are trusting god for don't say it can't happen open your mouth and pray oh i release my faith i release my faith one can chase a thousand two can chase ten thousand open your mouth and place a demand on the faithfulness of god lord i still believe you pray tell him i still believe today is the 11th of december but i still believe It says unto him that answers prayers shall all flesh come i agree with you that whatever you have declared before god may it become a testimony in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me make an altar call quickly please i like everybody to be around this is our last service i'll make some announcements there are people inside and outside this is the last service you probably were here from january february and every time you hear an altar call like this something resists you from coming out maybe you've never experienced this peace with this prince called jesus or probably there are some of you who have given your hearts to the lord but at one point or the other you found yourself derailing this is our last service let this be the service where you give up on yourself and embrace his majesty i'll count one to five wherever you are i believe that there are still people outside there are still people inside please leave your seats don't wait for anybody to come before you make your way to the front right now one i count one to five wherever you are god bless you as you come they are coming there are people coming from inside and outside clear the way for them god bless you god bless you god bless you don't be ashamed this is the last service for the year. Let it be that at the last Koinonia service, you make a decision for Jesus. The next will be again will be 2016. Don't enter 2016 on sale. God bless you as you come. There are still people God is speaking to outside. Make your way and receive this Prince of Peace. He will change your life forever. hallelujah i salute all of you who are coming the prince of peace the prince of peace is all you need in your life and a simple prayer of faith if you are coming please come and join them clear the way for them come and join them god bless you the devil is a liar don't let any devil stop you as i'm talking if the holy spirit is still speaking to you make your way i know time is up but you need to be saved make your way to the front in the name of Jesus Christ.
Hallelujah. The Prince of Peace. Listen, he will bring beauty and glory out of your life. It doesn't matter what you have done. Men can condemn you. But let me tell you something. The mercy of God, that throne of grace and mercy is always there. He will wipe your sins as if it never happened. That's the mercy of God. I'm going to lead you to a prayer and I want you to pray passionately from your heart. You are not reciting a poem. Praise the Lord. Pray it from your heart. You are talking to a real person. His name is Jesus. And as you pray that prayer, a miracle will happen to you. And you will leave here tonight having the greatest gift any man can have. Lift your right hand high above your head so that the devil doesn't think you are pretending and say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I know you are the son of God. And I believe. I ask you tonight, forgive my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness I cry for your mercy I'm tired of living my life my own way this night I make up my mind before your people that you are the Lord of my life I receive eternal life into my spirit and I declare that the power of sin is broken over my life let me pray for you father these hands that are lifted receive them and let this be the beginning of a real encounter in their lives i break the power of sin over your life and every voice that speaks judgment i declare that the throne of mercy silences that voice forever in the name of jesus you stand before his presence as though you never sinned having the righteousness of his dear son jesus christ that's the gift he gives you for believing in him. And I supply grace upon you to live the victorious Christian life. This will not be an emotional decision for you to go back to the flesh. From today, you rise higher and higher never to go down again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I welcome you to the greatest family on earth. God's own family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, there is a lady waving her hands. I'd like you to just walk up to her. She'll have your details and we'll follow you up from the details. So please make sure you supply your details. God bless you. Celebrate them as they go. Celebrate them, Koinonia. have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com 